Hey, it's Rachel Adelisha from Investment Peace. I'm a big believer in stories. I think at the end of the day, we're, we are all storytellers. That's how we've learned how to communicate from the cavemen on down. I'm a huge believer in fashion, and I think that fashion is a way that we can tell our stories. That's what my blog was based on, that we're trying to tell stories. Um, be it that you're a spy and you're wearing a trench coat, or you have a meeting where you need to feel powerful so you wear the type of suit no matter what, I feel like when we put something on, we're helping to tell a story. We're letting someone know who we are or what we want. And fashion is fascinating that way because you can be something different every day. You can reveal a different part of yourself every day. Um, as our focus has narrowed and our dream has been flushed out, what we're really fascinated or what I'm really fascinated by right now are the stories that we hold in our closets. We all have closets full of clothes and shoes and belts and all those sorts of things, accessories. And yes, they help us tell our day-to-day -day stories. But if we're honest, we all have things in our closets that we can't get rid of. Maybe it's your grandmother's wedding dress that's always been a sign of hope and family. Or maybe it's the shirt that you wore on the first date with the guy that you fell in love with for the first time. Maybe it's um, a jacket that doesn't even fit your life, but there's something about that jacket that is a part of you that needs to be seen, and you can't get rid of it. Those are stories that deserve to be told. Maybe because they'll inspire someone else or let someone else know that it's okay to be who they are. But just because we have these stories, they deserve to be told. These are Valentino shoes. I bought them much longer ago than I would like to admit. Um, I saved for over a year for them. Um, I worked three jobs at the time, but I was determined to have those ex special shoes because to me, what it said was that I am making my way in fashion and I can afford this iconic piece that will let everyone know that I love fashion, that I'm on brand, all these different things. So I saved and I saved and I was finally able to buy them. When they came out of the back from Valentino with them, I was like a five-year-old on Christmas. It was like the best thing ever. And now I don't always wear them all the time. They aren't something that I go to on a regular basis. But every time I pull them out, I'm reminded of that work ethic, that desire. Um, I feel like they let people know who I am in a little bit of a way. And we all have things like that. We all have things that we can't get rid of. I am determined to tell my stories and I'm determined to tell yours and stories of women and men around the country, what they're keeping in their closet. In this fundraising effort, the money that you'll give will help us go to equipment. It will help us go to pay directors and editors. We're really hoping to find some uh, females to fill those roles because we're passionate about other women owned businesses. Um, it will help for travel costs, equipment. Um, our goal eventually is to pitch this. We've had some interest from Bravo and E, those type of networks, because it is not only just fashion, and fashion is important, it's not frivolous, but there are stories and they're how we communicate with each other. I'm excited to tell mine and I'm excited to tell yours and I'm so grateful for you being a part of our story.